This video deals with the battery and resistor circuit and we're interested in what is the potential difference between point A and point B in this circuit. It is open. There is no wire between point B and, and point A. We have three branches in the circuit. And the top branch, a 15 volt battery, and the longest line represents the positive pole of the battery. 22 ohm resistor in series. This middle uh, spur of the uh, circuit, 10 ohms, 6 volts, and again the long line represents the positive pole of that battery, and then terminal B, and then 14 ohms, 10 volts, and now off to the right is the positive terminal of the 10 volt battery, and then 8 ohms. In looking at this, um, could you assign a direction for the current that you would expect uh, for this circuit. Now this battery is going to try to drive current in this top branch off to the left. There will be no current in the middle branch because of this uh, uh, incomplete circuit between B and A. And the 10 volt battery, that would drive current off to the right. Again, talking about the traditional current that uh, assumes positive charges moving in the wires, which we know is not correct, but uh, it's not a big deal for solving problems and analyzing circuits So, in most situations. So we're going to stick with tradition here. So I'm going to say that there's current moving, uh, as these arrows show, around the, uh, the circuit and here also. And in, uh, in setting this up, I'd like to know what the value of that current I is. That's going to be useful to us in calculating potential difference across this 22 ohm uh, resistor. So what do we have for a description of relationship between potential difference around the whole circuit and the current and the resistance around this loop? Again, I can ignore this middle branch. There is no current in here, so this battery is not going to create any potential difference, um, does not uh, get an included in the calculation. Um, but around the outside, around the outside, then we have 15 and 10 volts, there's 25 volts. What's the total resistance? Again, we don't worry about this middle stub. There's no uh, current moving in there. We don't have to include the 10 ohms. The total resistance around here is 22 plus 14 plus 8. Now that's 22 plus 22. That's 44 ohms. So take 25 volts, divide by 44 ohms. And I came up with a value of the current around the outside of the circuit, 0 0.568 amps. So to find the potential at point A, I'm going to arbitrarily say that the negative pole of this 15 volt battery is 0 volts. So 0 volts here. Almost have room for a V. 0 volts I'm just going to assign here. We're only interested in potential difference, not in exact values of potential. So it makes, and, and this is the case for most problems, uh, it does not matter where I claim 0 volts is in the circuit. So I'm going to claim it's here. Um, as current flows through the circuit, the place where the current enters a resistor, I label that positive, and where it exits, that's the lower potential point. Um, put a negative on there. So what is the delta V, the potential difference for the 22 ohm resistor? Well, again, we use V equals IR, Ohm's law, to, uh, to calculate that. We know the current value is 0 0.568 amps. And we know the resistance is 22 ohms. So multiplying those together, we find that the potential difference across the 22 ohm um, resistor is 12.5 volts. So this point A, that's at 12.5 volts. Now, what's the potential at point B? Well, if I say this is 0, this point over here, that's going to be at 15 volts. This wire, for ideal wires, we have the same voltage 
at any place along the wire. So 15 volts here, 15 volts here, 15 volts down here. So 15 volts at that point. Do we have any change of potential across the uh, 10 ohm resistor? Is there a V equal, delta V equals IR calculation to be done? The answer is no. The current is zero here. There's a gap here, so there is no motion of charge in this uh, stub, in this spur. And the delta V here is zero. So this point is at 15 volts, right in front of this battery. When we do go across the battery, there is a change of voltage. We go down by six volts. When there's no current in a battery, there's still a change in potential. It's just the change potential is zero through across resistors when the current is zero. But there is a change potential when we go from one pole of a battery to another. We're going to the negative side. That's a lower potential. We need to go down by 6 volts. So this point B is going to be at 9 volts. So what is the potential difference between point A and point B? Well, it's 12.5 volts at point A. It's positive 9 volts at point B. So you don't even need a calculator for this. It's 3.5 volts. That is the potential difference between uh, point A and point B. If we, I haven't done it, but if we have, if we had connect point B with a wire, I haven't done the analysis, but I'm assuming that uh, things would change quite a bit in this middle branch. And in fact, I know for sure that the potential difference would be zero between point A and point B. If we'd hook a wire there, wires are equal potentials. We assume wires are ideal for introductory physics, so there is no potential loss across them. Um, but it, the uh, voltage at this point A would no longer be 12.5. So we're going to have different current in the 22 ohm resistor when this middle branch gets to be effect. I'm going astray. Uh, that's not the question here. But this question was pretty easy, so I thought I'd go astray a little bit. But if there is a gap here, no connection between B and A, potential difference would be 3.5 volts. What if I would redraw the circuit? Suppose I put the 10 volt or 10 ohm uh, resistor here and the 6 volt battery over here would there be any change in my conclusion the answer is no there's no current in this middle stub so it doesn't matter where i put the 10 ohm resistor there's no potential difference across it, it doesn't matter if it's here or if i would pick it up and move it to here and you know keep that wire uh, solid on the left where i picked out the resistor so there we have it 3.5 volts Ask your instructor if you have questions on this and go to physics.gpclements.com if you want to see an index of the videos. physics.gpclements.com The next video I'll have a little card made up. physics.gpclements.com and you'll see an annotated list of my physics and astronomy videos if you go to the astronomy site. But physics.gpclements.com. Signing off.